William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you're just in time for more Wolfenstein The New Order. In the last episode, we completed our mission and we attempted our nightmare and we're going to talk with Anna. Anya. <coughs> um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Mm. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishud members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Sorry for hearing some noise in the background. Cool. <laughs> That'll be all. We can go now. <laughs> yeah, they're they seem they seem nice they seem good for each other. <coughs> okay. Yeah, actually we don't need to, we don't need to worry about that until after we get into the mission. So we can go to the archives, which right here? No. It's right there, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Keep the door to the archives, you know, like locked actually. Hmm. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. Okay. Um that's kinda of on the floor a little bit. Uh, no, I think we'll be going down here later actually, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that yet. Mole spores coming from the vent. Where is the intake? Yeah, that's a little uh Hmm. Maybe that, maybe that explains why I'm sick all the time. <laughs> Mold coming from the seat from the rebellion from the rebel base. Oh, why it's over here? Okay. Hmm. I don't know what that. <laughs> It really doesn't help that I don't know how to speak German or read German. I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Gosh dang perfect. What do you got there? Dog tags. Wing Commander Fergus Reed of the Royal Air Force. Took those off of his dead body. Wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. Best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier. I'm not cut out for this, you know. Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. I just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. <coughs> I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know one mistake you made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Okay, that was not all that different from what we see with Fergus. Um, 
I mean, the dialogue's very, the dialogue's a lot different because it's dealing with like an older man and a survivor's guilt. I mean, this this one is sort of, it's sort of the same only, only a bit only like I mean, you could probably tell where it would change like that. Yeah. Uh. <coughs> okay, so we'll give her. For the concrete sample? I've seen some mold over there where they keep the aircraft. Okay. So I believe we need to go yeah. Down here to get to the sample. Hmm. No, that's not it. Right. Oh, now I'm trying to avoid it. I'm trying to remember how long this took me before when I first went through this. Because <coughs> they don't really give you a good idea of where to go. She said it's in the, in the hangar, and right here is the hangar. Ah, there we go. Caution. Mold. Helicopters must have blown the tarp free. Oh, I wonder if that means it's near the, hel near the helicopter thing. Look at... I understand that not. Kein einziges Kabel, alles ist glatt und aufgeräumt. Wo ist das Innenleben von diesem Ding? Max. Max Das habe ich mich auch gefragt. Hm. Okay, so. There's a patch of mold. Need a circular saw to cut a sample. Gotta be some power tools nearby. And here we have the power tools. <coughs> Whoa! That hurt. You will find your way back here if you have a look around, yeah? Right. You can't pull, you can't do that on the road? Yeah, whatever, I guess we'll do it on our own. Uh, what the hell? Hmm. Can't help but get a little, get some, uh, Oh, there's the problem. Can't help but get some, uh, get some flashbacks to Dishonor. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, can we pick up here? Nope. Okay. That doesn't give me much for us to get. Hmm. Hmm. 
And just by design, this cannot be a very difficult area. <laughs> okay. So up here, there's something up here. Yeah. Ooh, fully all oh, full automatic. Nice. <coughs> you can now hold it down and you... <laughs> the problem is going to drain the ammo a lot faster now. Hmm. Put the trap gun. Tired of these drones all over the place. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Sorry if I'm coughing a lot. I think this is where we need to go, yeah. I don't think there's much else we need to do, aside from just surviving all, all that. We can find some health back before it's all drained in. Yep, couldn't find any trash now. Howdy, cowboy. <laughs> Not going oh, they put stuff back over it. Wow. Excuse <coughs> me. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. What are you scaring Max? Sorry, pal. You know it flip out like that. Ooh. That his son? No. Though, well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son. Born during the war. A miracle, he called it. So he had tried for years to have a child. Him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Mm. The secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Mm. Quit it. Excuse me again. Getting tired from me. Come, Max. See if he's okay. I guess it sounds like I'm sneezing that I am coughing, but that's a shirt I'm I'm coughing. <laughs> Lost toy. Huh. Well, I found you. Hey, not room to lost toy. How do I end with that? Oh, we gotta find all my top Max Hoss's toys, I think. Oh, did I ever do that one in my first place? I don't remember if I did that one in my first playthrough. Oh. I think I had trouble finding some piece, like certain pieces. So go ahead and spend the rest of the episode doing that. Um, cause I know we saw. Oh, 
lost your toys, Max. Hm. Amerikanische Trottel. Oh, all that for Anya. Okay. If we're back, the telephone and the toy truck. If you've seen the toy truck, <coughs> gotta remember where it was that we saw it. Was it in the archives? It was in the archives. Let's check. Yeah, right there. Okay. Another toy on the run. We're looking for that telltale shimmer. I may end up having to look it up online. Wait, toy phone? Hey, toy. All I had was a pine cone and a box of matches. All I had was a pine cone and a box of matches. Wow. Um, not a good sign. Oh, there we go. Belong to Max. I'll get you home. Huh. That, that is a sm very, very small keyboard. How many keys are one, two? There's six number keys. Seven. Thirteen letters. No zero key on the number pad. It must be, it must be like one of those fancy gaming keyboards, you know, the things I hear about that only have like, you know, a set number of keys and they're, they're really small and compact. Okay, so... <laughs> Aww. <coughs> yeah. We're well, unlock the character model. Cool. We've missed a lot of armor piece, armor upgrades. I can't believe we've only gotten two so far. But they increase it by 10 each time, right? So, we do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That was giving us 60. Or even at five, it still gives us 30. So it's kind of. You know what? That's everything. Actually, you know what? Let me see if we can do. I mentioned like I mentioned how uh, when we first got here, how we'd be able to come back and do some things here. <coughs> the more I think about, it, I think the armor. Uh, ooh, we can do the nightmare again. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this as our last step for the uh, ending of the episode. I'm gonna try and actually do this for real this time. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That hurt a little more than I wanted it to. That hurt a lot more than I wanted it to. <laughs> um, before about how small the the item pickups are in this, especially for the kind of for like what this is being such a like like the original maps the the uh, pickups were a lot bigger. Like you need, you need to be able to see them. <laughs> Not that I'm mad, you know, run all over the 
stuff. Excuse me again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm coughing so much. Come with the the original sound effects too. Like I mentioned that I would like I would like to see them. I mentioned how I would have loved to see them use the, uh, like, use the original model and stuff for the guns, like, make, like, a 3D pixelated model. Oh. I also would have liked to see them use, like, the original, like, uh, the original sound effects for the Nox, for the, uh, soldiers. Fun little fact, um, at least in the original Wolfenstein, you can't sneak up behind enemies because at the time, limitations of the uh, character models only allowed them to have a front, so if you tried to, if you tried to get up behind them, you just see them rotate around you. In Doom, in a, uh, I believe Doom, the original Doom, or possibly doing two. They actually gave them uh not full character model, but they gave them backs. <coughs> so you could actually sneak up behind them and one of the first things in doing two is you actually sneak up behind the the zombie man. Oh, they're behind the door. Oh, there we go. Okay. That don't have bad this time. We don't have them there. Okay. And we're in health. There's more health. Well, uh, I should only wait for ammo on this. Uh, See, so maybe this would explode. It doesn't. This loop around. Yeah, it looks like it loops around. Okay. You see, I can be somewhat, <coughs> somewhat confident. Here we are at the end. Did you get anything for that? Nope, just the satisfaction that we defeated our nightmare. Okay, so... In the next episode, we'll talk to Anya and give her the, the uh, super, co the super co uh, concrete. Or for some reason, I want to keep calling it Pycrete. <laughs> Which I know that's not what it is by a long shot. <coughs> There's too many years of the Mythbusters, which actually kind of gets me a little sad now knowing that they're, that they're done. Uh, they had their finale a few weeks ago as of the, as of the recording of this, and it's kind of a little sad to see, to see them go, but you know, they've had a good, they've had a good 16 year run. Anyway, next episode we'll, uh, exit the level and talk to Anya. Until then, I will see you guys 
Later.